This kid fucking jumped up. Oh my fucking god. Oh, oh, oh bye bye. Oh shit. That's it. Hey, grab the boo. Hey, the boo. Yo, this kid's, this kid's fucking gone, bro. Today I wanted to do a video on the tragic case of Cameron Robbins, a young man who jumped off a cruise ship in the shark infested waters because he was dared to. During this video, I will be talking about some pretty graphic and possibly disturbing theories that may have happened to him. So if this video isn't for you, and I completely understand, please consider checking out other videos on my channel. Now, without further ado, let's dive into the case of Cameron Robbins. Cameron Robbins was an 18-year-old man who recently graduated high school from University Laboratory School, which also operates as part of Louisiana State University in Baton Rouge. He played baseball while attending the school, and according to reports, he attended the school for over 13 years. After graduating, he and a few others decided to celebrate by booking a party boat called Blackbeard's Revenge, which is located in the Bahamas. On the evening of May 24th, from videos that have surfaced, we see a very lively atmosphere, with the ship filled with intoxicated people, for the most part of the evening, seemed to be going pretty well, at least at first. However, that all changed around 9.40pm, when Cameron was reportedly dared to jump off the boat. Unfortunately, he agreed, and leapt into the water. Almost immediately, however, Something was wrong. A disoriented and potentially impaired Cameron can be seen struggling as soon as he entered the sea. A life preserve is thrown into the water for Cameron. However, he frantically swims the opposite way from the ship. The video then ends, and as of right now, it is the last known video of Cameron. The area where the boat was, in Montego Bay, is known for its high density of sharks. It is known to have a fair variety, such as white tips, tiger, and even bull sharks. The latter two have a fearsome reputation for being extremely dangerous to humans. And if you look closely at the video, we can see something moving almost as soon as camera enters the water. In my opinion, it is most likely a small shark, between 4 and 6 feet. The way it jerks back tells me this wasn't some random motion, and a more deliberate one. Add to the fact that sharks are more active at night, also adds indeed to this being a shark. Another reason is that sometimes ships tend to throw leftover food overboard, instead of disposing of it another way. I'm not saying this ship did this, however sharks have been known to associate ships with food. Now with a bit of information leading up to the event, here is what I believe could have happened. However it's just my opinion, and I could completely be wrong. Theory 1 Camera jumps into the water, possibly intoxicated, and regretted his decision right away. He was treading water and terrified. Unsure of where to go, he began to panic, and picked a direction and tried to swim to shore. However, in his panic, he ran out of energy fairly quickly and drowned. Theory number 2 Cameron hit the water and saw the small shark. Either its movement in the water, or a fin. He decides to swim away from the shark, However, as he thrashed in the water, 
he attracted other sharks nearby, and the much larger one decided to attack after a while of seeing Cameron struggle. I don't think he was attacked right away, as he would have most likely screamed, and as of right now, no reports of him doing so have been reported. If I had to guess, I would say theory number two is most likely. There have been cases of sharks picking off those who fell into the water, so this is not out of the ordinary. A famous case being the sinking of the USS Indianapolis, where it was sunk by a Japanese ship in World War II. For the next few days, the survivors went through hell, where they were picked off one by one, mostly by oceanic white tip sharks. Estimates are between a few dozen to 150 being attacked and eaten. Cameron Robbins was a young man who had his whole life ahead of him. Unfortunately, he made a horrible mistake, which cost him his life. And although his death was certainly tragic, it does bring home the fact that the ocean can be terrifying and should never be taken lightly. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to make more videos for you soon. I'm also going to link a GoFundMe page set up for Cameron, and if you would like to donate, please feel free. Thank you once again, and have a great weekend. They come from nowhere, wow. Oh, <laughs> Oh, you...